Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple thumb screw in SOLIDWORKS. I wish you like it. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. Thumb screw with knurling. I hope you like it. We are going to design a simple thumb screw. So let's see. Front plane sketch and draw here a circle with 10 mm diameter. That's it. And extrude it up to 10 mm. Okay. Now here let's define the raw material. So go to appearance. Open the metal, drop down the metal menu. And here you will find nickel. I prefer nickel coarse brushed. Okay. Now choose here chamfer. Keep 1 mm 45 degree. Select this face. Okay. Now select here axis. Select this face. Okay. Now here we created one axis. Just hide it. We will use letter. Uh, now here we want to make some groups. So select top plane, sketch. and draw here let's start line okay now let's define 0.6 mm the distance from this line keep 2 mm the same as in above okay now select your line connect with outer line exit now define the distance 45 degree ok now select this outer line this or you can drop ok now it's coincident here Okay, let's define the dimension. Point two five mm. Okay, choose trim entity and trim this inside lines. Draw a center line. Select this line and mirror against this line uh, it's uh, still not mirror select this line against this C here ok choose trim entity and trim this ok now select the line and connect both the endpoints. Exit. Sketch fillet. Point 0.1 mm. Select this corner and the same as select this corner. OK. Now select here fully defined sketch. Click calculate. OK. Now the geometry is fully defined. Now select this axis. Revolve cut. 
see here the axis we created selected now see we created a geometry here now it's time to make some knurling face here so select this face sketch and click this circle convert entities see it is converted go to feature and find out here helix and spiral height and pitch height 10 mm and pitch keep 20 mm reverse direction clockwise okay see the path created select this face sketch normal first draw a center line up to this point exit now select here center point circle exit we want to create some parallelogram exit exit now select this both the lines and make relation equal now select this point select this line and these two points and make here relation midpoint see here exit now select these two lines collinear and define this angle 90 degree ok now define the width Point two five mm that's it ok now sketch exit now it's time to cut the thread so go to feature and find out swift cut and here first select the profile and the next select path you can see it's going to cut the full thread okay now we cut a, a small path you can see here now again select the same face sketch select this outer circle convert entities I think delete it and uh, circle and draw one circle and let's keep the diameter 10 mm ok now again go to find out helix and spiral and again we want to cut a path in reverse direction so keep the thing same height and pitch height 10 pitch 20 reverse direction 90 just change here only clockwise to anti counterclockwise okay now select here swift cut and here first you have to select profile see this profile we selected now here select this path see it's going to cut the another di direction okay so see we cut in both the direction left and right clockwise and counterclockwise now it's time to make multiple number of patterns select here circular here select swift cut one and select axis we want 50 number of patterns here 360 degree equal spacing that's it now again choose circular pattern here select swift cut 2 and here select axis 
49 ओके अनचेक द ज्योमेट्री पैटर्न ओके नाउ इट्स गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट एंड इट विल कन्वर्ट इनटू ए नर्लिंग सो दिस नाउ दिस सी द फेसेस क्रिएटेड नर्लिंग फेसेस यू कैन सी हियर I just revolve all the faces isometric now it's time to make the bolt select this face a sketch circle and draw here one circle let's keep the diameter keep here radius 2.5 mm make sure the diameter 5 mm okay now extrude it up to 8 mm okay choose here chamfer 0.545 degree select this face okay select this face sketch convert entity now this face converted helix and spiral Select here pitch and revolution constant. Pitch point eight reverse ten numbers ninety degree and counterclockwise. Okay. Now the path drawn. Let's make the profile. So select here top plane sketch. Let's make the profile here. connect this point to midpoint select this point make construction line and one more relation horizontal now let's define the angle 60 degree and the length 0.61 mm okay select line and connect one end to another end make sure it is vertical let's define this 0.2 mm okay now select this line construction line this line also construction now connect with this lines exit now this is the geometry select this outer edge of circle and this edge this line collinear see it's collinear okay fully define the sketch calculate okay now simply exit select here swift cut see here profile selected just select the path see it's calculated just see the view okay now you can see this is the our thread it's beautiful thread i hope you like it so this is the our thumb screw it is very useful screw in the world i hope you like it Please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Don't forget to share and like our videos. Thanks for watching.